What's up, guys? We're on the channel. What we're doing today? Be a short little video. At least I think it's going to be. Um, it's pretty late right now, but my grandfather wants me to see how this thing works and if it works good or not. But what this is right here, this is a basically it's an aluminum welder, um, but it's a MIG welder, and it uses DC only and not AC. Now, if you don't know anything about um, uh, we call it a welding aluminum usually use AC because it has like this cleaning effect, where it's like the uh, the negative cleans it, the positive penetrates it don't turn that thing in the comments please um <laughs> but um yeah so but this uses only dc and it uses instead of one of those spool guns that usually you'll see you'll see you know this be that you you'll have like a little spool thing here and then i'll feed into this this actually has rolls that go into the machine and come out here so from what my research has showed me as well is you can weld with aluminum and dc which we're gonna probably do more with that machine trying to see if you can weld aluminum actually without AC and trying to really see because apparently I guess with thicker aluminum it's possibly better to use just DC but not an expert that's just some real quick research I did and it might be wrong research as well so I didn't do that much research to actually dig into it that much ignore this for now this is another thing we're gonna do another video and it's gonna be a fun project but yeah so let me get to get some aluminum or you have some aluminum over there and let's see what this thing's got and you know what is it gonna do so first things first we're gonna clean this up a little bit uh, I, don't, I gotta find some chemicals to really get this nicely cleaned up but for right now hopefully we're just gonna first of all get it cleaned up a little bit i gotta cut this up so i can do like a 90 degree angle cut or you know 90 degree weld or whatever we're going to be doing but let's get it cleaned up and let's see what we can do I gotta find some like thinner or something just to clean this metal up so it's not as oxidized and dirty. All right, so this is a gas machine slash flux machine. So we're gonna be doing flux because I don't feel like hooking up the gas bottle. It's all over there. I don't really don't feel like doing it today, but we'll, we'll be doing the gas next time we do it. Like I said, this is just a quick test. Just so I'm like, all right, it works or doesn't work. And it does work off 120, I mean 240. But we're gonna be doing it on 120 because that's all I got right now. So, so this is speed, and that's how many volts. We're doing flux 0.8, and we'll just stick with. I don't know. I guess we'll just stick with this. Uh, I don't really think we're gonna need. Yeah, right, I guess we'll try that setting for now. As well as we actually gotta load this thing up. Now the machine does come with a 0.8 flux core aluminum, and it also comes with a 0.9 solid core. And like I said, solid core you use for gas welding, and then flux you use for non-gas welding because the flux is what gives it like basically replaces the gas and lets you do what you need to do with it. So what we gotta do here is just like probably like any other machine, you just gotta push this in, pull out. It's not like any other machine, but we'll go with it. Now, which way does this want the wire to be fed? From the bottom, right? I'm assuming the bottom. I'm assuming wants it. Oh boy, don't unravel, please. Let's, right, let's get this on here. There we go. All right, twist this on. That locks it in. All right. Now I know this usually goes in like that. All right, pop that right there. Come on, go down a little more. You in the hole? All right, it's in the hole. All right, and then take this. 
You don't want to make it too tight, but just tight enough. All right, so basically I know we turn the machine on probably at this point. There it is, and here it comes. There it is, there's the tip right there. So, let's give this a shot, see how this thing welds. Who knows, maybe we may find a new way of welding aluminum. All right, and the way we had to have these wires hooked up, this, this one coming out of the machine needs to go to no gas, and then this guy, which is our ground, which stays in there. If our ground likes to stay in there, it'd be, it'd be very helpful, all right. This is what we'll be connecting to our metal to weld. So let me get my helmet. Well, that failed. Well, in all honesty, this aluminum is sticking to this metal here. Pretty damn good, so it definitely is doing something. It's not sticking to this. I don't know if it's dirty or... Let's try this piece real quick. I'm gonna try, we'll probably put it like right here. I'm just trying to put it just like that. Well, that time looks a lot more promising, at least. At least it feels a little more stiffer. Let me weld both sides and let's see like what it does if we weld both sides. Okay. Alright, so far the weld's holding up pretty good so far. I'm gonna try to weld this back to this one here. It's freaking hot shit right now, but. Not half bad at all. It's really actually. Oh, I broke it. I actually broke it, but not half bad out of a weld for. Yeah, it's happy. All right, so that is the flux. Which, like I said, I didn't really have two. All right. All right. So as you see here. It does penetrate into there, but it's definitely not a clean penetration, which could be because it's flux. Now, flux welding does never, ever, really, ever does look good or ever go good to me. Regular steel is hard. You can get you can get decent with regular steel flux, but aluminum flux, I don't think it's a really good choice because either that or just this metal needs to be cleaned. And well, probably what I will do eventually too is um maybe get some cleaner. Get some aluminum cleaner that would so it would clean this up nicely. Try to flux again, but as well as we're gonna try the gas option on uh, the next time we do this because it's very interesting. And it does weld as you saw there. It did take a decent abuse of like nothing practical abuse, like 
nothing definitely spectacular abuse. <laughs> I would not trust that to anything very crucial or anything like that, but. So then I guys listen, and I said, it's supposed to be a short video. Just, we're just testing that real quick. I had to test that just for my grandfather. You want to know if it worked, how well it worked or not. Uh, I, just, I would, I tried to flux today, which another time we will, we will be trying the actual solid core, which we have in that other box that's not open right over there. So till then, listen guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like down below if you guys enjoyed the video and want more of it. Subscribe to the channel. Don't do, do, do whatever tastes of our dreams. Don't let it go anyway. And I'll see you guys next one.